What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the second episode of the ATL Sports Pod. Today, we are with Aaron and Luis, the usuals, and we also have my special guest, my friend, Jarvis. So, Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for having me on the pod. <laughs> so, uh, we're, we're excited gonna, to be we're here. We're going to do the usual. Aaron's going to go through the list and give us questions, go through the usual stuff we're going to talk about today. And especially, we will be talking about um, – the Falcons head coach, since we got a new head coach now. We talk about the Hawks and trades and how Trey got snubbed. We're going to talk about the dream, especially. We got some feedback in the last video. We're going to talk about the dream and all the good the players that they have gotten in recent trades and free agency. And lastly, we'll be talking about Atlanta United and our expectations for the season. So, go ahead, Aaron. Sweet. Thank you. So it's been a crazy few weeks, it feels like, for uh, our Hawks and the Falcons a little bit. Um, we'll start off by talking about the NBA's um, all-star voting. And we'll save one part of it, you know, I'm talking about for later. We'll go into that Hawks bit later. But any surprises other than that one or any ones you liked? Um, for the all-star voting this year? Yeah. Um, Julius Randle. Like, I'm happy the uh, Tyrese Maxey finally got his nod. Uh, I, I like that been, one. I think he's been hooping in Philly for a while now. I don't know about All Star. Uh, I don't know about All Star starter though. Who? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure about All Star starter though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Steph got put as a backup this year. Why? That's crazy to me. Old man um, Steph. But also, it's Warriors suck. Not suck, but like, yeah, overall as a team wise, but. You see, LeBron even tweeted like, what, "Should we really take team records into account when it comes to all stars? Like, if I'm the guy, put me in." <laughs> <laughs> uh, I agree because there's some players in the NBA like Dame's good, yes, but mm-hmm. I don't think he's doing that great. Same with Donovan Mitchell, uh, Trey Young. Like, I mean, we'll talk about it when we get there, but Trey Young should be at that spot. So, yeah. Um, who is that? Who else got a Jalen Brunson? Third. Very much needed. Third. I'll, I'll I'll put my point to that when we get there. Uh, just uh, Powell Bunkero. Brunson a mean Paolo? first year. I, I, I am not in agreement with that Paolo. I'm sorry. Too That's soon. Saying. You That's haven't done that. Should been Trey Spot. Just saying. We'll, we'll get to it. I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna we'll get to it. It. Yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Go we'll ahead, to it. Aaron. Okay, I'm gonna skip the next. point. Point me at because we'll just put that in the Braves. But uh, this time we decided to do a little game and uh, uh, put y'all against each other. There's no prize for this, unfortunately, this time. But uh, we have some history questions, some trivia. Uh, all right. So we'll. I'll, I'll just. Um, I'll start with the Lu- uh, Lucas for this first one, and then uh, the next question I'll go to Luis, and the next one I'll go to Jarvis. Um, okay, Lucas. Right. Who was the last Hawks player to win a regular season MVP? Oh my god. <laughs> that, that's a why. I didn't know we had one. <laughs> I didn't know we had one either. This one. This Can I steal? One. Can I steal? Is it Dominic? I guess. Or Josh Smith? What was your Hell question? No. Do- Dominique. I'm gonna go Dominic Wilkins. Because I is that uh, it's uh, Luis. I'm going to go with the man, Pistol Pete Maravich. No. Jarvis? Dang it. Lou Hudson. That was my name. No. Bob, Bob. Oh, so it was Bob. Bob. Yes. Yes. That's oh, him. my God. Bro, what was question? Going... First question, what was his full name? Wait, oh, who was I don't even know. I couldn't hear what. Who was it? Bob Pettit. Oh, oh, man. That's like, that's like the 50s or 60s. That's far back. <laughs> I mean, I was I said Lou Hudson. Lou Hudson was a bucket for the Hawks. That was <laughs> had like the, the blue and green jerseys. Yeah. yeah um, so his full name, Robert E. Lee Pettit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's how old he was. Oh out my of, goodness. Out of all generals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, move on to the next question. I'll go to Luis with this one. So this is a Braves question. Uh, who was the last pitcher for the Braves to win the Cy Young Award? SP, SP, it has to be one of the, the, the big three, right? <laughs> I'm out of this. I'm, I'm just going to go Greg Maddox. 
I'm gonna go grab Close. Um, Jarvis, you want to steal? I'm going with Smoltzy. John Smoltz. That's correct. That's John Smoltz. Because <laughs> it, was, it was Greg Maddox, then it was Tom, and then it was Smoltzy. Um, a bonus bit here. Um, can you guys uh, name the only four Cy Young winners for the Braves? I gave you three just a minute ago, so just the last one. I don't know. Lavin. Nice. Nice. I knew Greg Maddox. Maddox, Maddox and I knew Greg Maddox. Maddox, and John Maddox, Maddox Glavin, me. Smoltz. Max uh, Reed. Uh, <laughs> future yeah. Max Reed. That's no one in the last 20 years. No, it's a long while ago. But yeah. you, if you know your Braves history, this is easy. Phil Necro. I'm going to say it's not a terrible guess, but it's not uh, him. Uh, hey. <laughs> Wait. Um, Warren Spahn. Okay. Oh, I heard him. Is that he didn't? That's the guy that died recently, right? I've heard that name, yeah, yeah. maybe one or two times. <laughs> I've always yeah. heard when it comes to pitchers, great Braves pitchers. I've always heard Maddox and Smoltz for real. So yeah. All right, wrap it up. I'll go to Jarvis for this one. This is a United question, um, and this one should it's, it's a not a terribly hard question. Um, so who are United's all-time top five goal scorers? Hey, you know this. You well, know, you know why. You should know why. Time. You know, well, we know what? one, Mister the King himself, Mister Martinez. Um, two. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm trying to think. Okay, we started back like 2017. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say, is Almi Ron in there? Like, it doesn't have to be a specific order, right? Number two. That's why okay. I, was, I was gonna put him number two. Yeah. Okay, Almiron's in there. I'm going to say, who? Uh, what's his name? This year, Almada. Because we'll we haven't been established long, so I feel like it wouldn't take long to really get in our top five list. Um, we know yeah, Martinez has a gap with himself. He's four? Almada's four? Yeah, there's someone, someone tied with him. He's ahead of him. That's what I'm saying. So, like, uh, who's another dude who will always just get a goal for us? I think I have, I have one. I have one in mind, too. <laughs> Cause it's always it's gonna come off assists. I feel like he's a oh mid. I'm drawing a blank. I can't think of his name. I don't want to say I don't want to say Darlington Nagby either. I just I just don't feel like he scored enough. I know he scored a few goals, I but he, I, I think he had like two goals for us. <laughs> yeah, right. So it's like <laughs> okay. okay. Right. So Lucas, Almada, Martinez, deal. my three so far. Do you need help, Jarvis? You got two more good. Yeah, I need yeah. All right. I'll go for mine. I was going to say Gressel. Okay. I was thinking I'm of Julian Gressel. Gressel. Yeah, see, Gressel's five. Uh-huh. So who's number Who's number three? Hector. Not, I was about to say that. Oh, oh, oh shoot. My God. I should. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's top five. Um, actually, um, two, three, and four are all tied 22 apiece. Wow. Bro. Martinez is like 100. And everyone's like 20. Right, Martinez gap is so crazy. far. Yeah. <laughs> right, what was it? Okay. Was it right. boot year? Didn't he have like he had 35 50, goals? Or 60 some goals? I think it's a 30, 30. Oh, 30, yeah. There's a yeah. Goals, 36 goals. He broke a lot of stuff that way. All right. Okay. Let's get into the thick of it. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to start with the Braves. So. <sighs> The MLB The Show 24, had the cover le- athlete has come out, and it is not MVP Ronald Acuna Jr. Uh, Lucas, how do you feel about that? Uh, I think it's very stupid, in all, <laughs> in all honesty. Man broke so many records. I think Jarvis and I was talking about this the other day. Uh, broke so many records, 40-70, first to ever do it, and you just put some... I'm not going to say bum, but I know he's not who, trash. He's not trash. Not trash, but like this past season, he had a, like you guys were saying, a trash season. Cool. The cover looks nice. I'm not going to lie. All the colors and stuff, but Acuna, like either doing a Trey Young, um, like, uh, yeah. or, right. or and the, the king, and the king, or the, or the king, or his little, like the small, uh, the small thing he did. Um, yeah, that would have been a better cover. So I, I think it's just stupid. Because Otani got, got the cover in instead, huh? Who got the cover instead? Vladimir Guerrero Jr. I'll put in a picture here. <laughs> that was a legacy nod. It, it really is. That's that what we call Nepo, baby. 
Did his dad get it like an 04 or something? The show live or the oh, show 04? That's a good question. Let's, let's figure that out. I, because put, if that's I'll the case, a, that was a legacy nod. <laughs> I'll put a I picture in the edit about there has, it. No, I'm only, my only chalk, I'm only chalking down to this one reason. Is that they have they have their, their picks. MLB has their pick their cover selection way before the season. That's the only reason I can come down to this. Straight away. I think he gets next year. That's what I'm saying. I hope he. I hope he at least has next, next year. Then. Yeah. Next year it's gonna be um, Ellie De, La, Ellie De La Cruz <laughs> or freaking uh, Julio Rodriguez. Oh my god. Yeah, well, Cooney needs one. But go yeah, ahead. Yeah, living up it in better, it better be next year, at least. But I just don't. I just don't see the reasoning. Hey. I can't find it. Or, or but yeah, he's having a down game. year, but Acuna's breaking all these records. It's like, this guy. <laughs> yeah, <makes> okay. <sighs> so that's frustrating. Um, but then some good news for the Braves. They just locked up um, Alex Anthopoulos, their GM, for I think it was eight years. Eight? Uh, well, let, me, let me figure that out real quick. I forgot already. Because um, usually you don't see contracts like this for GMs in any sport. Um, it's usually like a four-year deal, like a um, like, like a uh, contract. He's lucky getting a contract to where isn't our everybody on our like hitting lineup almost here to about 2029, 20, 2027, 20, 2028. I think it starts 2026. I think it starts. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's in that gap of 2026, 2029. Yeah. Well, which is amazing. We don't we're, know. We're two we're years. <laughs> Plant the flag, bro. We're the next dynasty. We really are. I don't care about <laughs> yeah. the Dodgers. The Dodgers. The Dodgers have a bunch of old people. Say it. In the, say it again. Say it. In we'll the imagine. <laughs> we'll imagine we get Shohei. And boy, if that would have went through, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <Ooh. perhaps. laughs> yeah, we nah, would have deferred because, all you know, this contract. The, 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 the Dodgers. The Dodgers are the Dodgers are very top heavy. Yeah. There's, a drastic, there's a drastic fall, uh, fall off. After oh, the who fall is James off. Outman? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> um, Thank you, Sean. Is yeah, it Clayton Kershaw on Zoom? Or he left. Uh, is Clayton Kershaw ooh. still on Zoom? Oh, he, uh, ooh, ooh. I don't know if he resigned yet. I think he's still between Texas and uh, the Dodgers. Exactly. We don't I care. I forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so back to uh, Alex. Um, it really speaks to like what he's done over these past, good lord, um, four years. He has a chip under his shoulder, right? I think he started in twenty eighteen. Yes, mm -hmm. bro. We're in twenty twenty four. Yeah, good lord. How many? Uh, six, six. six, six. That's a <laughs> mm -hmm. math. I, I yeah. But anyways, like um, the team he has built right now, and like the culture that he has surrounded these players in, is. Unlike any other organization in sports right now, I think, and he really deserved that contract. I think. I agree. Future dynasty, bro. Tony, no. Definitely. Future um, dynasty. Well, actually, I don't, I don't remember remember the future. I think we're. I think we're in the dynasty. What was that, Jarvis? <laughs> I said I don't remember the last time the Braves like in a roster like everybody's just so excited about and having this much buzz. Like, what is this back to back? We just go back to back hundred win seasons. I, I think I, so. No, it might actually. This is the first hundred season in a while. Did okay. we go 90, I think we went ninety nine. Oh yeah, it was like ninety six. But literally, it's, it's still fine, bro. I, I still, it still counts. <laughs> but, but, but we yeah. do need to stop losing to the Phillies in the playoffs. That's the only thing. Yeah, that, that, that's the one. I even said it. People were talking to me up here in Cincy about it. Like, yeah, the Braves doing so well. Like, I know. I just don't want to run into Philly again. <laughs> Lo <Long laughs> and behold. <laughs> Oh, I got a question for y'all. Do you think in MLB okay. they need to do away with the buy? Like, if you get a first round buy, do you think they need to do away with that and just let people keep rolling? I think when you take a break, it is so hard to get a bat hot again. Especially, like especially you're taking in baseball. a week off from the best team. So, especially in baseball, because that's it's also a week for pitchers to really chill out and because they've been pitching all season long, it gives them a, a week to just uh, relax and get iced up and ready for the playoffs. But yeah, for the hitters, it's terrible. But yeah, but for, yeah, that's, that's what happened to the Phillies. The Phillies were in the wild card, right? So they just kept yeah. on their hot streak, they all just kept rolling. Yeah, we we had a week break, so we had no like hot streak at all. And they just rolled straight through. Yeah. 
I think you just go bring back the uh, the one game wild card. Oh, I'd take that too. Bring that back. Play the Reds again. Because <laughs> it's like isn't it, it's the best out of three, right? They changed it. Yeah. It is, best it is yeah, yeah. Now it is. But yeah. Okay. Anyways, um, let's move on to the Falcons. So big news. Raheem Morris is our new head coach. Yes. And he was our interim in uh, 21, I believe. Um, yeah. I think this is a great hire. I'm going to go to Luis on this one. Um, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean. Only yeah, glowing I mean, remarks. Huh? <laughs> and now, now. Only I'm, glowing I'm, remarks, please. No, now I am, I am, I'm more content with it at first. I was a little. I wasn't a little. I was very angry with the choice, and I have lots of words to say about the Falcons organization. I can see. I get. I mean, now it works out with how uh, the, the, our targets are like re-signing with their team, so it works out. And Bill Belichick hasn't signed anyone. Um, the only main complaint I had with it is that we had him in 2021, and we moved on and signed Mr. Midge FedEx Delivery Man <laughs> Arthur Smith. So it, to me, it's just. It's just. I, I like, I don't know, I, I think it's good in hindsight, but I just don't like how we had him and we did three years of mediocrity and we went back to him. So it, was, it just felt those last three seasons have just been pointless. I have a question. I have a question. <laughs> okay. But we'll see how he's getting lots of rep from his, from a lot of players around the league. So let's see what comes with it. They, they, I, my, my, I was going to add a thing. They did add around him. What I've seen from Twitter the OC that we got from the Rams, they're like rev- rev- revving him up. So maybe he's really good. We what we signed uh, the special teams coach and def- defensive coordinator from other teams. So maybe they're building something. The only thing we need is a quarterback. We need a QB. We we will not win any games if we don't have a QB. So can I every, on that's that a good thing. segue. Yeah, every <laughs> other position is filled, but the QB position. And so, edge, edge rusher. Yeah, so, yeah, I was curious. Where do you think we should go with our eight pick? <laughs> oh, Honestly, yeah. if I'm being honest, I feel like it would be a bad idea for us to go offense again in a fourth year, but we do have a major answer to still be answered on offense. But <laughs> we need to get younger on our defensive line. Grady Jarrett just took an ACL injury this late in his career. Probably not the best thing for us. Um, and we still really don't have a pass rush like that. So I think it would be nice to go grab an edge with the eighth pick, but I am not mad if there's a quarterback picked. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, Nick, let's go. <laughs> let's oh, go you said Bo? I'm a Penix guy over here. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Well, he is an Oregon fan, so. Oh, oh, oh okay. Now, that, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I would like to put they my said, uh, He was one of the top quarterbacks at the Senior Bowl, so that's cool. Caleb yeah, Williams. Thanks, cool through though. I like him. He's he, he's Caleb. really accurate. He's like a better to a. How do we just keep Desmond Ritter? No, he's a Tom Brady regen. No, one more year. One more year. One more year. <laughs> is, I'll you. put my two cents in this. We trade for a QB, and we get a. Russell Wilson. Justin know. Fields. Justin Fields this is the one I want. What about Kirk Cousins? Though? That's why oh, Kirk, Yeah, Kirk, big Kirk, Kirk guy. guy. Kirk I think he worked. He would work in this Raheem Morris offense. I think Kirk Cousins. But ju- I was just saying, Russ and Kirk are old. Justin Fields still young. He is still more time to develop. He's- That's what you can do, though. Uh, is you sure, can actually, go grab the quarterback behind those how guys. About we, how about we draft an edge at the eighth pick, and then we have we bring in a Russell Wilson or Kirk Cousins as a bridge quarterback, help hopefully bring support towards Dick Desmond Ritter for mm-hmm. one year. Out, one year. get him out. Jarvis the same year. thing for one That's year, right. and then we go for that quarterback. And so all the Cincy fans is gonna tap in and watch this. You could you could take that guy back. We don't want him. <laughs> want him back here. Ship him up in the FedEx <laughs> box with Arthur. Like, make him re-enroll. <laughs> we gonna make him re-enroll into Cincinnati. <laughs> go get your doctorate, man. I did. Uh, so uh, I think. I think Dallas Turner is a good idea. He's a big guy from Alabama. Huge. Alabama has a great motor. Trust me, I would know he beat us in the SEC title game. But, yeah, great, great, great player. 
I don't know any players besides the QBs in the draft, so I'm nice. Yeah, I I've been seeing that uh, Dallas um, as the Ed Rusher in every single mock draft, so I'm just expecting to be good. They've also said uh, verse out of Florida State for us. Um, it's another guy. I haven't seen a lot of quarterback things. I think people are trying to think we're going to make a play for Justin Fields. I hope we do. Who do you think we trade away for Justin Fields? Now, here's my trade. You guys can tell me if you like it or not. <laughs> Give you Desmond. Get Kyle, oh. too. Mr. Pitts. Oh. I'm sorry, but we're wasting his time. Yeah. No, I, I know. Justin. And give me... And I'm going to give you at least a pick with Kyle and Desmond. Not a first rounder, like maybe like a fourth or third. And yeah, I'll send you that. You give me Justin. And Cole Komet. Bro, we're going to waste Kyle Pitts. I mean, it's not a problem if we do that. But we're, Kyle Pitts is going to get his career wasted. We have Johnny Smith, okay? Well, I, I just feel bad. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, you're a unicorn. You're out here barely eclipsing 500 yards a year sometimes. I think, <laughs> let, him, let him cook one year with him, Morris, before we talk. Yeah. We, we jump you need to that. throw more <laughs> interceptions to the op- opposition than throw touchdowns next year. <laughs> <laughs> He's a quarterback, okay? And his fumbles. Don't forget his fumble. When, when did we make it okay? Like I did, I did my research because I I was just fed up with number nine taking the field. For us. <laughs> when does it become okay? In fifteen, I think he, it was when I looked at it. He was at fifteen starts. He had fourteen turnovers, eight fumbles, and like no, 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 eight interceptions, six fumbles. So I was like. When is this an okay thing? When were we? Why are we still thinking like you know it's just the system? He doesn't have a left piece. He had plenty of pieces around you. Yeah. You're just bad at football. <laughs> no, like, you, can that, coach, that, you can coach. You can coach up interceptions. You can't coach up fumbling yeah. the ball. You're just not. No, a man but that, that, that interception against the the Panthers was bad. That was totally bad. That's like amateur done, league bad. I was done after we gave the commanders three extra opportunities in the fourth quarter. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude. Uh, uh, all right, let's let's move on to the Hawks now. Um, you see how you gotta take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, there's a lot of buzz around. Uh, uh, Murray potentially being traded away because he's not like a great fit in this offense right now. But he's balling. He's balling. Nice. <laughs> Jarvis, what do you think? I don't what think. Think, by the way, Ron. <laughs> well, my thing is, I don't think we've given it enough time to see if it works yet. Most du- duos usually get a year or two years to really see like if it's going to work or not. We're trying. We traded for Dejounte. Almost at the deadline last year, right? Yeah, I think so. no. Hey, it was we're already summer. trying to get it was rid- summer off season, off season, off season trade. Oh, was it? Yeah, was it an off season trade? I thought he trade. played for the Hawks last year. Mm-mm. No, last really? year. No, last yeah, he played season. last season, but he was in the off season trade. Oh, oh, yeah. So I don't know why we're so quick to jump the gun. Like Trey was also hurt at a, a bit of the time too. Um, we haven't been all the way healthy as a unit now, but like now, since Trey's come back from concussion, DeJounte also hit them too. Buzzer beat like starting to see like, okay, people's names are getting on the block and they think they have to hoop better. And I also, think- Quinn Snyder has historically been pretty bad and it's not pretty bad, but he's been pretty slow in his first few years as a tenure as a head coach. Cause you look at the numbers, he's, I think, I think his teams has always been below 500 for the first front half of the season because this is this is his first full season right yeah yeah, yeah the, the, the first the first half of the season he's always been uh, below 500 and then there's been a steady ink there's been a steady rise and winning after that so i mean like i think i think he he needs more time i agree yeah because they they i haven't seen it they've been hooping they, they've they been right. hooping, especially after trey we'll, yeah. we'll talk, talk about it in a second but he, he's been hooping and i was gonna say this before like when DeJounte has the ball, Trey doesn't score as much, but it has changed the last four games. We're on a win streak right now. And it it shows because Trey could distri- distribute the ball. DeJounte could go off and stop, just because I stutter, stop laughing, okay? 
Um, he dis- he distributes the ball, and DeJounte <laughs> Murray – stop, stop. <laughs> DeJounte Murray uh, just goes off like an overtime li- li- last night. Like, Trey had close to, what, 30, 32 points, and then uh, – Trey had 35, and, and Steph came yeah. 60. <laughs> he not, I think he had like nine assists, but just like – they were all they were all of them just going off in, in, in overtime. So, I don't know. There's another, This is actually another thing. I talked to Luis about this the other day. There's no value for Dejounte Murray if we, if we trade him. What? Some piece of bead. What's that? He's uh he's gonna have surgery top of the season. It looks like. Sheesh. Oh. Um, okay, hold on. Let me. There, there goes a the playoff sorry. spot open. No, it's ten, it's ten minutes. Okay, hold on. We'll talk. We'll finish the talks thing real quick. Um, there's no value for Dejounte Murray. Like, who, who if we trade him? There's what D'Lo. I'm not saying these guys are bad, but D'Lo. I don't know. They're saying Austin Reeves. Hell no. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie, I saw, was like, d- definitely don't want. So, like. It's I, just rough with the market right now because there's yeah. not a lot of stars trying to be moved for their yeah, team. There's not a lot of sh- defensive or scoring shooting guards that, that are like DeJounte Murray. If he goes somewhere else, who, know, who, who knows what happens with, for us? Because we could go into a rebuilding phase again. But we, we're like. Especially with this front office being cheap as hell. Yes. <laughs> we, we are like. Right now, these four win streak. We'll see what happens against the Clippers tomorrow on Monday, but and then we go away to Boston, and then away to Seventy Sixers. We'll see what actually happens, but I don't want him to leave. Maybe I think at first I was like, maybe we'll give it, a, give it, and see who we could get. But there's no shooting guards that are good that are better than John Murray right now that we can go trade for. Okay, so um, we're gonna move into we're gonna we're almost to the really angry part, but um, <laughs> we're gonna go to the streakiness of this team right now. They've been a little up and a little down. Like they had a really nice four game win streak, and then they had a terrible four game losing streak where Luca absolutely made them look foolish out there. Um, I don't want to talk about it. And then we start this new streak where he started balling off again. So uh, back to Lucas, what do you? Think about these streaks. Well, we just it's just gotta be consistent. We gotta all be consistent. Lately, um, which I'm glad Quinn Snyder has done this and had actually realized this. Sadiq Bay, when he goes cold, he is cold, like terribly cold. And Quinn Snyder used to like keep Bro, him in for the longest time. And then I think recently he had he was 0 for 7, 0 for 6 from three and zero points, doing nothing for us. He finally took him out. I think DeJon um DeAndre Hunter, since he's back from injury. He put him in, and we've been cooking. Like, Sadiq Bey, I think he needs to go back on the bench whenever DeAndre gets fully healthy. And Onyeka has been playing great off the bench. Uh, Bogey has been playing great off the bench. When he's hot, he's hot. Bogey's that guy, sixth man yeah. of the year potentially. And then Jalen Johnson, most improved player in my in, in my opinion. I'm, I'm I might be biased. I think, but I, think, I, think I think he should be a player. They might they might give it to Maxi or something, but Jalen Johnson. No. J- Jalen Johnson, he o- he nearly dropped a triple double last night, and he, I didn't even realize he had 21 points, 13 rebounds, and eight assists. Like who would he- you rather have? Huh? Jalen Johnson, John Collins. Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not I saying. I'm, no, no. Wait, I'm not. I'm not saying as a recency bias, but I think uh, uh, Jalen Johnson's, uh, Johnson's ability to create his own shot is the main factor. Yeah, I think. And what what was it like after? I feel like after we <laughs> offered JC his big contract, I think we put him on the trade block every year afterwards. <laughs> That's what the Jazz like, doing to him. Never right wanted now. him again. <laughs> Dude, if we get Lowry marketing, bro. <laughs> I've been screaming for a new big for the longest. Like Clint's cool, Jalen Johnson's cool. We need a seven footer that can shoot and be athletic. I'm sorry, that's stretch. where the game is going. You got to beat Embiid and Giannis in the East. Doing. Onyeka's like changing to shooting some threes now. I know Clint can do it, but Onyeka can. <laughs> yeah. But okay, so the final part of the Hawks. And this is the best part. Um, our star boy, I stray has been snubbed from the all-star game. Even, I, I think the criticism mostly is that he was, had that concussion and maybe he lost some games. Uh, Luis, what are your feelings on this? It's, it's, it's BS, bro. It's, it's, 
I don't even know how to say it. Yeah. Every every time the goalposts are moved for go, for Trey Young, every single time. <laughs> and when when he wasn't announced a starter, I was like, okay, fair, that's fair enough. But not even making the reserves is just it's just dumb, especially when you're second in fan voting. Like All Star is nothing but there's nothing else but for the fans, and you're gonna sum that guy from being at least like there. That's just especially over people who didn't deserve it, like Julius Randle and Paul Bar- McCarroll. Uh, we're we'll going that to a later topic, but uh, yeah, he, <laughs> he should he should be consistently in the All Star All Star team for the rest of his career. Yeah, he's 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 really good, and he uh, he, de- he deserves it. Um, but y'all have some other remarks about that? Garbage used to go. Um, so. With the trade, like, okay, first off, we already know he should be an all-star starter for the past at least at least the past two seasons. Didn't he do 27 and 10 back-to-back seasons? I remember I, they showed the past three. I think one he had 25, but – I think when he had 25, it's like 25 and 11 or 12. Yeah, so it's, it's just hard because – I think I don't know if y'all see it this way, but I think the world really considers an Atlanta a small market team, and I don't understand why. Where we're like a media mecca for the world, like mm-hmm. you know how many movies are shot here in Atlanta and all that. Like this is a production area, like so it and, it amazes and, and, me and mind boggles me that no one ever wants to come here. Like, airport. what was the last? Everybody in here, what was the last major blockbuster trade where it hit your phone and you saw it was the Hawks connected to it, and you were like? We just made the trade to make ourselves a final contender. Never. Never. <laughs> and it's just like, it's, so it's now I think they try to pin that against Trey. Like, we drafted him as a star, and it's like, nobody wants to. Our big trade was for DeJounte, but that wasn't even, like, he's not even a considered an elite star in the league. I think he's a star in the league, but he's not elite. But I, would, I mean, I would say it's not a trade, but I was just thinking about it. But when we got bogey uh, for free agency, it's probably the biggest yeah. thing. Because I, I remember watching him when he was on the Kings, and I knew he was really good. And then when I saw that the thing with the Bucks fell through, I was like, we need to go grab him. Yeah. And then we got him. So, my favorite player. Um, so, it just, it's crazy because it's like Indiana gets more big stars in Indiana. But it's an actual small market state compared to us. <laughs> and it's like... And I think that's what gets knocked at Trey. Like, of course, Tyrese Halliburton got the nod this year for All-Star because it's in Indy. But he's also been hooping. But it's like, do we got to get an all-star game to come to Atlanta again for him to get his second nod? <laughs> like, <laughs> can we just get some respect, please? I think for me, what I'm mad about, like I least mentioned it, 1.2 million fans voted for him. What's the point of voting for him if he's not going right. to get it's in? Been, and it's like, like the presidential race. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, but yeah, it, it – like it, it pisses me off. Like he's hooping, and what I think this season he had uh, thirty and do you go over the thirty and ten double doubles, like on a streak for that? It's not like he's doing terrible. He's not making our team. Like maybe yeah, we have a bad uh, record, but LeBron even tweeting about it. I'll put the LeBron tweet in right now. Right, there's been way more nastier records for people to get in, and. <sighs> We only have two minutes left, but I'll still I'll still put my my two cents in real quick. Um, <laughs> Donovan Mitchell, in my opinion, probably should never got reserve. Jalen Brunson, who I've been saying is overrated for a while, he's changing. Let me, hold on, he's been changing my my sense about Jalen Brunson. He should stay. He hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I people, no, I, I kind of hear that because some people think he's like an elite like guard. Like he's good, but he's a he's secondary. better, and he's changed my sense on that. So he's, he's a re- secondary star at best. He's, he's rated. Like, Hold on. Isn't what? he the, the meme? I thought he was the meme, the tragic Brunson lore. Is that him? I don't know. I have no idea. Where is this? This red's on Shaq in the pool or something. The overrated? Do you see what he's doing in New York? New oh, York's no, 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 yeah, no, I, 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 I know that. I, I was saying the only reason I call him overrated because I didn't think he deserved the max deal when he went from Dallas to, to the Knicks in the first season. Mm-hmm. That's what I was saying. But he has changed my sense on that because he's actually doing really well and I do like watching him play. But Julian Julius Randle does not deserve to be there. Jalen Brunner should be the yeah. only Nick that should be there. And how about Hero? Hello, he's young, but I don't think he's that great to be there. And I tweeted this out just chokingly, 
but they're you know the injury reserve thing. Joel Embiid definitely is out, so Trace has a has a spot. Julius Randle is injured, and honestly, he shouldn't be there. But Trey, Trey yeah, his that's what I don't understand. I'm sorry, <laughs> Julius Randle, you be so off and then on. It's just like you're am, not consistent enough for me. Jalen Brunson has been consistent in this past ever since he's been hooping to get that contract out of Dallas, and then he when he got it in New York, and then he came into New York, and he started hooping ever since he's been there. He deserves his all star now. Okay, time to dream your biggest dream or daddy in the Atlanta dream. <laughs> um, we ought to be watching more uh, women's basketball because they are balling out. They really, they really are. They really are. Uh, so we're going to start with their most recent trade acquisition, which was um, two time WNBA champion and two time all defensive first team guard Jordan Canada. I'll let Lucas speak on that one. So, I've been seeing your feedback in the comments, and you guys have been wanting me to talk about the Atlanta Dream. And that's why we're doing that today. I do occasionally watch them. I, I'll be I'll be honest there, but I do watch a lot of college women's basketball. So, but we'll, we'll talk about that. I'll talk about that in a second. So, the Dream, last season they made playoffs, but they were kicked out by, I have to check what team they were kicked out by. But they got a little bit, a little bit of a taste in that playoffs. So, this year they're making... The moves and the trades to get more experience in the playoffs for this season and to get to be a little bit better with the pieces that they have. So Dream, like Aaron said, traded for Jordan Canada. Um and we also we traded Ari McDonald, who was a guard in the eighth pick for Jordan Canada in the twelfth pick. So Jordan, she who came from the LA Sparks, she's five six, so she's a guard. Um and in the twenty twenty three season, she had career averages of thirteen point three points, six assists. Also led the league in steals uh as well. Um Damn, five six is kind of crazy. Huh? <laughs> I just heard five six is a basketball player. It's like damn, that's actually kinda of crazy. Yeah, yeah. I know it's WBA, awesome. but it's like it's just it's just like she's a tall woman. Yeah. <laughs> Based on like, like the video. conceptually, it's just just weird to the word to yeah. hear. Based on the video that I've seen, she looks like she could take uh take a lot of threes. She's very explosive, she could score. And it's something that we needed as well with Ryan Howard as um, Ryan Howard and Chelsea Gray. Um, we need a lot of scoring consistency, but uh, but yeah, there she looks pretty good, and she for, she's also a veteran, two-time WNBA champion, and she's a uh, two-time All Defensive First Team. So we got some defensive guards out there too. Uh, the second thing we did in free agency is we signed Tina Charles, we signed Ariel Ariel Powers. And then we also re-signed Nia Coffey, and I have some stats on that as well. So Tina Charles, he's 6'4", former 2012 MVP, Damn. three-time Olympic gold medalist. Um, she's fourth all-time in scoring at 7,117 points. She's uh, also second all-time in rebounding, 3,640. Her career averages, I think, from last season was 18.2 points per game and 9.3 rebounds per game. Just think of that. The height that was the dream of we having next season, the rebounds that she'll be grabbing, um, and then she also has big game experience. So I'm I'm thinking that's like playoffs, um, close yeah. close games like that. Um, that's what we need. Um, Ariel Powers, she is. That's a crazy name. <laughs> I know. It's, it's just, six, Ari- I'm still stuck. Six four for a girl is like a seven footer. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I'm I'm excited to watch watch her play. I think that I went to one game last year. Um, it was Dream versus the Storm, and Ari- um, Tino Charles. She came from the Storm, so I think I watched her play. I just don't remember exactly what number she was. But Ariel Powers, Luis, like you said, that's a cool name. Her name is A E or spelled A E R I A L Powers. Like Ariel. Ariel, like an Ariel, like Ariel Dunk and stuff like that. Bro, that name has to be fake, anyway. It is. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, it has to be like, 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 be like a meta, name. like a meta world peace kind of name. But like, yeah. like or Chad Ochocinco. There's no, ain't no way. <laughs> Ariel Powers. So for Ariel, she's a, had she played a big role in the 2019 WNBA champion uh championship with the Washington Mystics. So another champion that we have on our team. She's 5'11 guard, very explosive on the wing and capable of scoring in different ways. So another scoring guard that we like we would like to have. And then her last season averages was 10.7 points per game and 3.3 rebounds. So I'd say she probably comes off the bench, maybe, because we have we already have that good starting five already. 
And then Nia Coffey, she was already with us, but she had a hand injury in the middle of, uh, like, I think at the, near the end of last season. But she shot 40% from three, and she's defensive. She had a defensive presence. So those are the three, the four girls, actually, that you will be seeing with the Dream next season. I would do want to watch. Hayes. Huh? Rest in peace, Tiffany Hayes. She's been gone, though. I know, but still. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, this is for me. I'm going to watch more Dream Games starting May, near May. But I also do watch a lot of college basketball, women's college basketball, because I, I like Caitlin Clark, which we'll see wherever she goes in the draft. Once the draft gets closer, we'll talk about more of the draft. But wherever she goes, she's going to be a menace. She's going to be a scoring menace. I think she's like 60 points away from the record in college. Yeah, she's going to pass Kelsey Plum's record in college. Yeah. But she's wow. – She's gonna be crazy, and I can't wait to see what the uh, what we get at the twelfth pick. So I know it's very small. I will talk about more once the season gets closer and closer. But I will, I will do my job in watching them play. It's very exciting because I think um, only like a few years ago, like uh, 2020, 2019, they were like top five draft picks. They weren't yeah. doing so well, but now they're doing pretty well. I, they, I know. I think the organization. Then, yeah. I think they had an Easter conference appearance not too long ago. Had a, they had a, like, I think it was 2021, 2022, or maybe. Or maybe I'm wrong. I'll, I'll recheck that. But they had an Easter conference appearance, and then they went down to being kind of bad in the rebuilding phase, and now they're back up. So they have a whole different front office with uh, and a whole different ownership with Re- Renee Montgomery. Yeah, so I, say, owner. So I, see, I, see, I see great things in the dream of the future, and they're growing in around the land. They need that exposure. There's not a lot of people go to WWE. They, got, they got a new stadium as well. And yeah, they just change venues really. So, uh, it'll it'll be the dream. The dream, yeah, they play where the College Park Skyhawks play. Okay. By the airport. So. Okay. Is that OTE Center? Not, not in that one. No, OTE is in Atlanta by uh, Atlantic Station. Okay. Yeah. Have you had to see that yet? I've I've toured that. It's very nice. It's very nice. But yeah, we we could go on to Atlanta, Atlanta United. We could. Move on Atlanta. United. <laughs> <laughs> All right, United time. Um, not too much going on right now. They're still heating up for the season to come on in. It's only a month away. No, well, actually, it's, this month. it's not a month this away month. anymore. We have three weeks until the, the actually twenty days. I wrote it when it, I wrote that when it was a week ago, a month <laughs> away, but now it's not. Yeah, it's a three, um, three but three. the most recent thing that happened. And uh, Jarvis, I'm going to let you pronounce this name if you want to. And they just had um, added another player. Um, My Polish You can game. see his name in the, in the, the document. This would be butchered so hard. Um... <laughs> I can see this, his face. Hold on. Well... You know, we're going to give this a good win and whirl. <laughs> <laughs> There's some extra Z's in there. <laughs> it's not as hard as it, it looks. Is it? Hold on. There we go. Um, Bart. Bartos. No. Bart- Bartos. Zil. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you treating like he's Mexican? Yeah, you're adding like extra extra letters in there. It looks like. How? <laughs> Aaron, you go. Aaron, you go. Bartosel. It's got to be like Bartos Sleeze. <laughs> but I saw on the media preview, they were, they, they have his other name, Bartek. They've been calling him, like, that's his Instagram name, Bartek. But they said, or he said, they pronounce it Bartos Slish. Slish. Bartos like, Slish. Like a swish. Like slushy. Like a swish. <laughs> slish. Like S I S L I S H. Yeah. So he Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's that's what that, that says. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll go I'll go straight into it. But he yeah. is a master class defensive midfielder. I gotta watch him yesterday at the preseason oh game in Athens. His passes, his long balls to Possible. I think it was Saba and Brooks running down the line. <laughs> Perfection. What? 
Hey, Luis, you're hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> we said it at the same time. <laughs> what happened? No, 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 I'll go. Not. I'm gonna hear it back in the edit, probably. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, Bartos is probably the like is the def- is the defensive midfielder we've been needing for a while with to pair up with Muyamba. It's like, been ever since ever since Nagby. Every yeah, exactly. Ever since Nagby left, he could dribble. Uh, Slish could dribble, shoot, long ball passing, great. Uh, all his short passes are great. Was what I saw yesterday, um, and he seems like a good person too. Like, I didn't, I didn't get to watch. I'm, I'm notoriously known for not really watching preseason games. I usually watch like the first, I don't know, the first couple of minutes, and my I get bored instantly. But he looked like that pivot that we're gonna be needing, and uh, he looked a little bit shaky in the first like 20 minutes. There's been some touches. He even he kind of had some. That was his uh, first game. touches, huh? It was his first game with us. I mean, I, I mean, I, I know, but I'm just saying, like, a little, he was a little shaky, but I'm not gonna like dig too hard into it. But he still looks as like a like a raw player. He still looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I can't wait. This season, we're, I mean, we're probably gonna talk about it in a second, but this this season is the most hyped I've been for. I probably said in the last podcast, but the most hyped in a while. Every position is filled. Most okay, mostly every position is filled. Maybe some like left back depth we need behind That's Caleb Wiley. Huh? Keeper. We have keeper depth. We got Josh Cohen. Um, but I think well, just that we should be fine. Um, but I, I'm excited. Hype video should coming out soon. I want to come out next week, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I actually have breaking news here uh, oh. from the MLB. Uh-oh. Um, the Minnesota Twins have just agreed to um, a contract with Braves legend, known Braves legend, Jay Jackson. I don't know who that is. <laughs> is that like he played with us in like 22. He played with us in 22. For, he didn't, uh, <laughs> he played in two games. <laughs> oh my, that's why. <laughs> no, no, uh, respect for him and, you know, go hit his own, no, no hate for him. But like, yeah, he didn't play for us very long. I thought you were gonna say like I thought you were gonna say uh when I heard Jay I thought you were gonna say uh, Jacob Webb. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming back to smash the face with his baseball. <laughs> insert, cl- insert clip here. Oh, oh, and he hit him in the oh, helmet. Oh, oh my! Insert clip. <laughs> okay, let's uh, back on topic. <laughs> um, okay, so you uh, mentioned um, excited for this year and gonna talk about the video. Um, good segue into saying um we talked about this last time and we touched on it um but what now that this team is more complete they've got like all the players that they're going to get seemingly um what are our ex- expectations like what what should they go for and um what do you guys think about that i'll go with uh, Luis first year i'm expecting a top four and a deep playoff run and a trophy i'm expecting a trophy as well i don't care from uh supporter shield probably not gonna get uh the mls cup or the freaking leagues cup i expect a trophy oh i don't i don't really know where up in the what us open cup is going to be like it's I, it's up in the air i don't know as in as in terms of putting mls teams because they kicked mls teams out and then they added it back us soccer federation is like no 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 you can't do that so i don't know if the us open cup is going to be this season but i, I expect a trophy yeah i don't i don't think <laughs> i agree with Luis. i don't think us open cup is this year but I expect number three from us. Supporter Shield, regardless of what it is, we didn't win it in 2018, and it doesn't matter because we went on to win the MLS Cup. So I don't care, really care for it. Um, and then uh, Leagues Cup, I say we, we we go all in for it. We have an easy group. Yeah, I was about to say. We have an easier group than we had last year. We played DC United and Santos. I, I don't know. Playing, but we played that Mexican team, Santos. And we have a, that taste of it. I mean, everybody got a taste of it last and, year. It's and we first got uh, home. We got, we got most of our games in the league cup are at home. In the group yeah, stage. so we were playing away most of our games last, last league's cup, and we do way better in home games. So I expect us, like, a trophy. I expect us to do top three. I expect us to play much better than they were last year. Even though I'm not saying we did bad, we were just mid-six the whole entire season. And we were all finally meshing. And now we could finally mesh all together with the new signings, because we had a different team in the first half of last season and a different team in the second half of last season. So we're going to mesh well, we're going to get top three, and we're going to win a chip. If we win another chip, 
two trophies in my lifetime. I'm going to that going to that MLS Cup if, if it's home or if, if it's away. I'm gonna go anyway, and then I'm going to that parade again. It'll but be yeah. a third. Third? Oh yeah, third third chip in the. What happened in 2021? Oh yeah, we did go to the parade in there too, but I didn't go. We didn't go to the game. I was just saying I went to the we went to the MLS Cup game. But yeah. Are you talking about the Braves parade? Yeah, that yeah. was fun. Jarvis, you Kyle. Have... <laughs> Jarvis, you have any expectations for us? Championship parade so far. I said that whatever next one it happens, I, I don't care. I don't have school no more. I will be yeah. there. So, calling out. Can't do it with Georgia. Yeah, it should have been Georgia this year. <laughs> I, 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 had a, I just uh, instigate something real quick. I think Michigan. I want every Michigan fans who watch. Yeah, we wipe you. Um, you know what? <laughs> I have a point to talk about. It's not, not a major sports team, but I guess Georgia is fine. Um, but, like, a lot of people have Carson Beck as the Heisman favorite right now. And I think that is travesty. <laughs> and <laughs> trav on that. Speak on it. <laughs> so, here's the reason why Carson – that's not a travesty. If anybody really looks, Carson finished a, was the third-best quarter, college quarterback this past year um percentage wise completion uh, um his i think touchdown oh wait yeah touchdown interception ratio was 24 and 6 um so he finished in front of mccord i think he finished just right behind he finished um in heisman voting i think he got seventh shit I'm like well my, excuse my language You're good. but um okay. He was consistent. No, he's not no big flashy player like Stetson was because everybody remembers what Stetson was doing. He would have the – yes, he would make his throws, but when he would get mobile, he would shake people out of their shoes. And he would make big plays, ooze and all. He's not that kind of player. He's consistent. He's a great game manager. I know people say that's a bad thing. I think that's a good thing. If you can have somebody who's not going to turn the ball over consistently – like uh, I remember every pick he threw last year, three of them were tipped. Two of them were just like – I don't know why you threw that. And then the other one was just, uh, it was a 50 50. So it's like, he was a consistent player the whole time. He had consistent numbers all year. I don't really think he, I think every game the year, every week, he just kept improving. So I'm not mad at the Heisman. Do I think he's going to win it? No. Um, I just don't think we're that flashy of an offense. And I think the Heisman's always been like, who's making the most plays every week, every time you check in? They're having some type of sports center top 10 highlight play. I think that's what the Heisman's come to now. Like okay. Jaden Daniels, you had four losses and you got the Heisman. <laughs> when Lamar got it, we reason why we gave it to Lamar. I mean, with Louisville, I mean, one, he did have Louisville in the top five at one point. They were about to be number one with him uh, if they didn't lose to Clemson. Um, but every week we turned, we tuned into ASPN. Lamar's hurtling over someone. Lamar made four people <laughs> miss or something like that. So it's understandable. I just don't think he's that kind of player to go get that. Poison, unless he's out here about to go sling 40 touchdowns next year with like four yeah, the guy was a top three pick right now. I'm like, that's that seems a little high. <laughs> I think it's just because he's just consistent. Um, but like they were saying that about Drake May. I'm sorry, I don't know who or what Drake May has done in college. They're saying they're saying, they're saying the Falcons. He's actually, they're saying the you Falcons gotta go watch his games. games. He's really good. That's what Tyler. I mean, I'm trying oh, to go Tyler watch here, Tyler because he's been getting this talk for like two years now. Yeah, like, he's he a top quarterback. I watched him in the Holiday Bowl against Oregon, and he was dotting people up. And Oregon had a respectable uh, secondary that year. Maybe not a pass rush. They didn't have a pass rush, but they had a good secondary with Christian Gonzalez there, and he was dotting people up. Yeah, I'll go look, but. Yeah, he's just not a flashy. We're a power run team. We take our shots when we need be. We're not Ohio yeah. State, who's got five four five star wideouts <laughs> split out four wide, and we can just throw it deep when we need to. Nah, we're hey, gonna we uh, round and pound, and then we'll hit you on play action. Uh, so I'll uh, hand it to y'all for your social plugs. Anybody want to plug anything particular? I'll start with uh, Lucas. Uh. Well, you're on my YouTube channel, so please subscribe. Get me to 350 subs by the end of the year. I would love that. Also, like the video. Also, would love that, too. Uh, go follow my Instagram. It'll be in the uh, description and in this Zoom as well. Hype video to be out soon. Wait for it. It's going to be out. <laughs> Luis? Um, 
guess my socials are on here somewhere if you want to follow and if you want to donate uh i don't need anything to be donated for just you you want to donate <laughs> <laughs> give me money <laughs> give me money if you want i'm kidding uh but yeah because i'm jarvis jarvis uh like share and subscribe to the channel man i'm excited you guys i'm really proud of you guys you just taking the initiative to go start something on your own it's what you got to do nowadays uh thank y'all for having me on i appreciate it excited That's i hope this is this won't be my last time i'm on here <laughs> i'll let you guys know that <laughs> You know, mm. I've been talking to Lucas. You might see me next season every Sunday for a five-minute Falcon rant, whether it was good or bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, you know, maybe Lucas will put my social medias up here. You guys can follow me if you want. But I'm always in the shadows. I'll always be around. Just know I'm proud of you guys, and I'm excited to keep watching and tune in. Cool. It's great having you on. We really uh, enjoyed it. Uh, and also, here's my plugs right here. <laughs> Give me some hard work to do when you're editing. Yeah, I to edit that. <laughs> okay, Lucas, it's all are yours. We, are we giving Lucas difficult editing jobs? Okay. Yes. Look at this. Explosion, Wait, explosion, explosion. Right here. If you click here, <laughs> you can add Lucas's new hype video for next week. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> all right, all right. I'll close it out. Um, thank you guys for all. Awesome. What? Okay. Thank explosion. you guys for watching this video or listening to it if in the background if you are doing that as well um i hope yeah, you guys that. If, if, yeah people, people, could crash just, car. people could be just listening to this in the background while we talk um but uh if you have any comments bad or good feedback put them down in the comments below i would like to uh i read everyone everyone's comments and i would like to implement something like that in the next video but yeah thank you guys for jarvis for being here thank you Luis and aaron for always contributing to this um all right. We'll see you guys. One love. As always. We'll, we'll, we'll see you guys in the next podcast. All right. Yeah. Peace out. Louis. Oh, yeah. A. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Down. Down. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Wait. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs>